Why can't I hear anything? Why can't I? Oh. William. Can you see? Anybody else is here? Mm, maybe it's 5 30, I think. Mm. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yoga mat. Look, Lila has a mat. Although I knew it's snow mat. Lila has a mat. Very cool. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Lila, you get a mat. Hello. What's up, everybody? What's up, Amelia? What's up, William? What's up, Delilah? What's up, Jacory? How's everybody doing? Let me unmute you guys real quick. Let's go over to William first. I'm going to chat with you guys one by one. William, how you doing, dude? I can hear you now. What's up? Good. How's it going? Have you been enjoying your time off? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you doing schoolwork from home? Uh, he starts that uh, Monday. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah. it's just been fun time for him so far then. Awesome. I'm glad yeah, you get how the parents are doing. <laughs> <laughs> how are the parents doing? <laughs> when is school opening up? <laughs> awesome. Um, we should be sending out an email soon. Um, I know that a lot of families are at home, you know, and the kids have so much energy. So we're sending out an email with some extra lessons. So if you want to burn some more energy, there's some extra content we're sending out. So hopefully if they are, uh, are driving up the walls, you can kind of – them on something to uh, help out with that a little bit. Um, let's go over and check on Amelia. Amelia, how are you doing? Uh, oh, wait, I am the wrong Oh, I muted Delilah. I got big old fingers here. Okay, there we go. All right, Amelia, how are you doing? I can hear you now. Good. Doing good. What'd you do today? Um, we did some workouts. Some uh, workouts? Pumping the guns? Uh, 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 what type of workout did you do? Legs? Abs and legs. Abs and legs? Awesome, awesome. I'm glad to hear that you're staying fit and everything, not just playing video games. Now I'll go over to Delilah, and then I'm coming over to you next year, Corey. What's up, Delilah? How are you doing? Good. Do you anything fun today? No, just a ton of school. A ton of school. A ton of school. Are you being a good student? Are you giving mom an easy time or are you uh, being crazy? <laughs> <laughs> just the, the shrug, no word shrug. Okay. Well, hey, mom's got a tough. You guys are all at home. She's outnumbered. Be a good student. Help her out, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir? Yes, she said be a good student. Not her. Yes, sir. Okay, there we go. All right, awesome. Now I'll go over to uh, Jacory. Where are you at, Jacory? Here you are. Jacory, what's up, dude? How are you doing, man? Hello. You having a good day, Jacory? Yeah. Did you do anything fun today, sir? Yes, sir. What'd you do today? Play on my um, phone. I play on my phone. Took a nap. Hey, those are only things I like. Oh God! Those only three things you did. You put it on your phone, took a nap, and uh, that's, that's not so bad. We're gonna burn some calories now. To get a, now you have a good thumb workout. You got a good full body workout in a second. And I got CB. CB joined up. What is up, CB? Let me get over to you real quick, sir. I just unmuted you. How are you doing today, CB? Good. Good. Did you do anything today? What'd you do? Uh, I just rode my scooter then. Almost took a nap, but that girl back there wouldn't let me. 
<laughs> well, don't blame her, okay? Uh, well, it was a very nice day to do a little uh, scooter ride, so that, that sounds pretty fun. Now, a lot of you guys are taking naps. As a kid, I never took a nap. As an adult, I took naps because now I'm, you know, old and I get tired easy. But as a kid, I never want to take naps. Coaches, did you guys take naps as kids? You did? I think, so. I think you guys all did. Did you, now, did you take naps because you wanted to, or did you take naps because your parents made you? Dominic's an accident. I wanted to. Oh man. Okay. I, know I just want to. I just want to play all the time. But I usually slept in. Like on weekends, I I just would just sleep. All right, well, we got about three minutes till class. Coach Tyler's adding you guys to that bucket I told you guys about the other day for the raffle. Uh, so if you guys show up to class, you get added into the raffle. And on Friday, we're going to draw out a name for a free home training kit. So you could get a pair of gloves and a pair of pads you could use at home to train. I know Amelia's doing those workouts at home. You're doing different scooter rides and stuff. So you'll be able to, you know, do a pretty cool martial arts workout at home. Um, so that's pretty awesome. And we're going to do that drawing on Friday. So make sure you guys tune in. We'll probably do it on Facebook, Facebook live. So you guys can see, uh, all that kind of stuff. Oh, what is up? The two day family, Boris and Mia, how's it going? What is up dudes? I'm going to unmute you real quick so I can hear you guys. How have you guys been doing? Good. Good. <laughs> Are you guys being good at home? All trapped at home? Yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> The parent, the parents are trapped. <laughs> <laughs> the kids aren't trapped. The parents are trapped. Oh man, Mr. Wiggins was saying the same thing. Boris, I mean, are you helping mom and dad out? Are you guys being good at home, or are you guys being crazy? Crazy and good. Crazy and good. Sometimes a little both. Okay. Well, it's two on two. I guess it's a fair game in the household. But no, make sure you guys are being good at home and all the rest. Are you guys uh, doing schoolwork, or are you guys just hanging out all day? Oh, work. Sometimes hanging out. Okay, how's the schoolwork going? Is it? Is, do you guys? Do you guys like the homeschool better? Or do you like going to school? School. I like going to school. School. I like school. the going to school. School. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> awesome. Well, we're about two minutes. <laughs> we're about two minutes before class starts. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move you back, uh, Mia and Boris. Um, make sure, guys, if you don't have uniforms on, if you don't have your pillow, you're gonna need a pillow, maybe from your bed or maybe from the couch. It needs to be something you can punch. And something you can kind of lay on. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything too crazy big or anything like that. Just not something teeny tiny. But we're now one minute from class. What is up, Jasmine? <laughs> All righty. We got one minute, T minus one minute, and then we're going to get started. So hope you guys are ready to burn some energy today. Have an awesome class because we have a pretty cool workout ready. All righty. Did someone join and then leave? I thought we had one more. Or maybe that was it. Maybe I was miscounted. All right. Coach Andrew, you're going to take over as my camera operator. Boom, boom. Easy peasy. All right, guys. It is 5.30, so we're going to go ahead and get started for class. So let's have everybody pop up. Everybody yes, stand sir. up. Just hold the screw like six foot five. Got a little bit of a camera adjustment here as we get adjusted. Make sure your area is clear. Make sure you're not going to touch anything. If you throw your arms around, we're all standing like black belts with our hands behind our back, feet apart. Good job, Jacory. Good job, Jacory. And we're going to start with our student creed or our black belt creed. So let's try it out. Ready? Attention. Yes, sir. Awesome. Black belt creed. Ready, set, begin. As a dedicated student of martial arts, I shall live by the principles of the black belt creed. Courtesy integrity, perseverance, self-control, and the indomitable spirit. Ski. Oh, awesome job. Now let's start our warm up. So we're gonna start with some jumping jacks. We're gonna do 10 jumping jacks. Everybody ready? Set, begin. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, 10, sir. Good job, everybody. Good job, Delilah. Good job, Ja'Cory. Now we're gonna do some body squats, hands on our gi. Feet a little wide apart. What's up, Zylon? Welcome. What's up, Caden? We're going to do 10 body squats. Ready? And one. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. 
eight. Eight, sir. Nine. Nine, sir. Ten. Ten, sir. There's everybody. What's up, Sebastian? What's up, Aiden? What's up, MIC guys joining? We're doing our warm up right now. Welcome to class. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some jogging in place. Jogging in place. We normally jog around. You guys might not have enough space for jog around. So I just want us to do a nice light jog. We're just running in place, just back and forth. Nice and light. So we're hopping our feet a little bit, just nice and easy, running in place. Good. Now, what we're gonna do in just a second is we'll go high knees. So we're gonna have our hands out just like this, and we're gonna try and bring our knees up to our hands. High knees. Go, go, go. Don't trip over your pillow like go. me. Awesome, keep going, keep going, keep going. High knees, yeah, high yeah. knees, high knees. Nice job. Good job, Boris and Mia. I see you over there. Now we're gonna switch to bottom kick. So we're bringing our heels in, hitting our hands, hands behind us. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Bottom kicks. <laughs> nice job. Back to high knees, back to high knees. Switch it, switch it, switch it. <laughs> keep up, Zylon, keep up, Sebastian. Normal jog, normal jog, back to normal. Slow down, walk, zombie walk, reins. Okay, just kidding. And attention. Yes, sir. Good job. We're gonna do a little bit of a stretch now. So we're gonna reach down, feet together. We're gonna reach down all the way and touch our toes. Good job, Jasmine. You wanna kind of just let yourself hang. Deep breaths here. Try and touch your toes if you can. If not, that's okay. Now we're going to go with feet wide, back up, feet wide. You don't have to do a full splitting thing, just a little bit wider than normal. We're going to go over to our left side, nice CB. Good job, man. Good job, Delilah. Deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose, deep breath, and then breathe out through your mouth. Nice job, Sebastian. I'm going to switch sides, switch sides, other side. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good balance, good balance. Now we go down to the middle. So we're going to go straight down. Stretching is very, very important. Great, great, great. Now we're gonna stand back up straight. We're gonna take one arm and we're gonna slap ourselves. No, slap yourself. We're gonna reach across just like this. We're gonna hug our arm nice and tight, like we're choking our arm. Nice, Amelia. Good work. Good job. Good job. I see you over there, Aiden, hugging nice and tight. Good job, Jasmine. Good job, Corey. You guys for tuning in today. We have us having an awesome day. I talked to some of you before class. If I didn't talk to you, I hope your day is treating you very well. Switch other side now, other arm across. Good work, good work. Keep it up, keep it up. Okay, now here's your challenge stretch. This is a really funky stretch. Raise your hand, who knows the Americana? You guys know the Americana? The submission we do with our arms, right? Very good. This is the Americana stretch. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, like we wrote a secret notes on our hand. We're gonna look at our hand just like this. I'm gonna turn them this way a little bit. Our other hand is gonna go underneath our first hand go all the way around and grab our wrist right here it's a challenge stretch it's gonna be a little tough but if you can do it it's really impressive okay oh, all right man. welcome arabella so now once we have it good job xylon we're gonna kind of just pull on our arm gently you guys see how my arm's kind of bending back kind of like americana we don't want to crank it really strong we just want a nice light stretch you feel it in your shoulder and maybe a little bit in your elbow that's okay okay now we're gonna switch arms so now we're gonna look at our other hand we're gonna go underneath our arm now I change my hand and I reach back and grab my wrist nice job Mia good Boris and Mia are doing a really good job on the stretch Delilah's got it too now some people really like to try and like rip it down don't do that you're gonna hurt yourself just nice and light nice and light okay Awesome job. And relax. Do a couple of these to loosen those shoulders back up. We just straighten them out really tight. Oh, roll your neck out. Crazy. Okay, you gotta see your dog do that. Just okay, you gotta shake it off sometimes. All right, we're gonna do our quick water break. So 20 second water break. No running in the house. We're gonna grab some water if you need it on the count of three. And if you don't have your pillow, this is the opportunity to go get your pillow and bring it back to the mats. Water break. One, 
two, three. Awesome. Water break. Go grab your water. Go grab your pillow. And we'll meet back here. If you already have your stuff, and you already got your water, we'll just sit like a black belt. Okay? We're going to sit like a black belt five hour pillow. <laughs> hey, Jason's joining us live from her trampoline. What's up, Jason? How's it going? Okay, good job. I see Sebastian's bringing out his partner. Okay, everybody's back. Zavala's back. Mason's back. Jacory's back. CP's back. Mia's back. Jasmine's back. Zylon's back. Caden's doing something crazy, but he's back. Uh, Sebastian's back. Aiden's back. Arabella's back. Jason's here as well. Okay. Forrest is here. Great job. Great job, everybody. So most of us are back. Um, today, we're going to work on a couple of different things. Okay. A couple of different things. First thing we're going to work on, uh, first thing we're going to talk about is today's word. Everybody, our word today is speed. If I say speed. Speed. Okay. Who can tell me what speed is? Raise your hand. Who can tell me what speed is? I I'm gonna call him the fastest person today. And the first person I saw with their hand up was Mr. William. So William, what does speed mean? Fast. Being fast, okay. And William, why is being fast so important as a martial arts guy? Why do we have to be fast? Because someone may grab your arm and you're too late. Yeah, if somebody tries to attack us and we're too late, we might know the move, but if we're really slow like a turtle, we're not going to be fast enough to defend ourselves. That's a really good point. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So everything we're going to do today, we're going to try and do it as fast as possible. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do today is something called skiers. If I say skiers. Skiers. Has anyone gone skiing before? Has anyone been on skiing or snowboarding? Okay. All right. Only a couple. All right. I, Coach Colton is not a good skier, but I can do this martial arts ski drill very well. This martial arts ski drill is going to help us with some of our speed with our grappling moves on the ground. And that's very important because we've obviously been training for our tournament lately and we've been working on a lot of grappling stuff. So we want to be the best, fastest grappler ever. Now, for this drill, we're going to need um, to know a new position that some of us know, some of us don't know. And that position is neon belly. So everybody stay sitting like a black belt, but watch me first, okay? So I have my pillow in front of me. If you have a square pillow, it doesn't matter how your pillow is, but if you have a rectangle pillow, I want it kind of like this, going long ways across. What we're gonna do for a neon belly, not yet, just watching me, is we're gonna take one of our knees, and we're gonna take one of our knees, and we're gonna put it on the belly, on our pad. Now you see right away, the, the pad's kind of gets crunched from the weight of my knee. But right now, my knee is not as heavy as it could be. So I'm gonna keep one knee on the belly and my other leg is gonna go all the way out here as far as possible. When I do that, if Coach Andrew comes back around to the pad, now he's gonna see the pad is really scrunched up underneath the weight of my knee. That means I have maximum pressure. That means if I was on top of a bad guy or on top of an opponent, they're gonna go, ooh, because my knee is so strong, okay? Now, I have pressure, but what about if I wanna be fast? What if I need to move? That's where our ski drill is going to be. So I'm going to go from one knee on belly to the other side knee on belly as smooth and as fast. But if I just get up and run around and try to get to the other knee on belly, they're going to get up. There's no pressure there. I might be very fast running around, but that is not the way I'm going to keep them down. So let's look at how to keep them down and move fast at the same time. I'm in my knee on belly here. What I'm going to do is my step one, there's three steps. Step one, my hands, magic fingers, jazz fingers. We're going to go on the ground here. Step two, my other knee is also going to go on the belly. So now I have two knees on the belly. Two knees. That's both knees. That's all your knees. If you've got more than two knees, go see a doctor, okay? Now we're going to change sides. So what I do is this is the skiing part, okay? Coach Andrew, can you go around the back so you can see my feet and my legs? So right now my feet are on the ground. And my knees are together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift my feet up, keeping my knees on the ground. I'm gonna rotate my feet to the other side, then put my feet back down. Right after, I'm gonna put my other leg out. So now I'm in my knee on belly on the other side. I have all that pressure, but now my other knees on the belly and my other legs out. So those steps happen fast, fast, fast. So full speed, it looks like this. Are you ready, Coach Andrew? Ready. Okay, so I'll go here. 
boom, around the other side. So it only takes one second, half a second. By a bad pressure, your pad's gonna get up and move around. Your pad should be stuck to the ground or move very little. So I go here, boom, switch it around, other side. Here, boom, switch around, other side. Because our body isn't used to moving like this, this drill's gonna be one of those drills where you go really fast and it's gonna make you a little tired. You gotta keep going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try doing this back and forth for 30 seconds. I'm gonna show it one more time and I'll answer some questions before we start. So I start my good knee on belly, one knee on the belly, one leg out. Step one, hands go on the ground. Step two, other knee goes on the belly. Step three, rotate to the other side. And then we're there, okay? Does anyone have any questions on how to do this drill? Anybody have any questions? Okay, I got a question over here from Boris. So let me unmute you really quick, Boris. Hold on just one second. Uh, Boris, what is your question, sir? When you try and doing it, when you try to flip, um, turn around, your other leg is mostly on the side. Yes, so when I go, the reason it's called a skier is because you see skiers go, sometimes there's a motion where their legs go, the ski goes together. The way my knees look, when my knees go from one side to the other side, is kind of like how the skier goes. The trick is when your knees are together, you're very wobbly, you have bad balance. So we don't want to be there for a long time. We want to get on, switch, and get off as fast as possible, as speedy as possible, so we don't really have to worry about that too much question. Anyone else have any questions? Caden, is that a question? Let me go over to Caden and see what's going on. That's going to be this one over. Where is it at? Where is that? There it is. Boop, boop. Caden, do you have a question, sir? Um, what? It doesn't have. You have to see us do it because I don't think I can do it on this phone. Besides, I only can see my legs and my belly. It's you okay. You have to see us do it because I'm using it on, on my mom's phone, but my mom's phone doesn't have that big of a camera. It's okay. Don't worry about it. If I could, that'd be awesome. But I can see it's kind of a weird camera angle. Don't worry about fixing it. Let's just stay focused on class. I trust that you're doing the right thing, okay? Just make sure we're working hard because when our parents are around, when our coaches are around, and we're growing up and we're adults, there's going to be no one to push us. We're going to have to push ourselves. So I'm trusting you to push yourself right now, sir, okay? Yeah, aren't they around? <laughs> They're inside the house. I got you. I got you. Well, just keep pushing yourself, okay? Keep pushing yourself. I got you. Any other questions? All right, awesome. So we're gonna get started with this drill. So I want everybody to stand up. Yes, get, sir. Get over to your pillow if you're not already there. Start in a good knee on belly position, just like me. And we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Coach Andrew has the time for me. And we're not gonna stop until the 30 seconds are up. So really prep yourself. Coach Andrew, let me know when you're ready. Here we go, everyone get ready. One knee on belly, one knee on belly. Ready, set. Goose, 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 goose. Oh, got some of you, got some of you, okay. Uh, oldest trick in the book. You thought because we were on camera that we weren't going to go for it. Well, anything's fair game. We tricked some of you guys. Stay focused. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Go, 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 go. go. We're switching nice and smooth, back and forth. Keep it smooth. Stay, Stay low. low. Keep those knees down. Pressure. Good job, good Knee job. Pressure. Sebastian, good job. Coach Andrew, let's change angles over here so I can see them while I do it, please. Boom. All right, stay low, stay low. Hands should be on the ground to help us with that balance, Arabella. Perfect, Nia. See, I'm using my hands on the ground. Hands on the ground. There we go. There we go. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. Good, Jace. Good, Delilah. Great work. One. And time. Awesome. Okay. All right, relax for a second. Catch your breath. It's kind of hard to breathe while we're slumped over low like this. We gotta get used to our breathing. Um, make sure you stay low the whole time. If we're up like this, doing the move, it's gonna be slow, kind of wobbly, kind of awkward. So my hands are on the ground when I'm moving. They come up uh, at the end. So when I start, my hands go down. When I get to the end, I put them up. When I'm ready to go again, I put them back down. Great job. After doing it, now do I have any questions? Looks like one question. Sebastian. Zoom, zoom, boom, boom. Sebastian, what's up, my dude? What's your question? Oh, if we're in a tournament, 
Um, and we're on yeah, Billy. Can we can we pull their arm and like some people put more pressure on them? Great question. Okay, so <laughs> the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Neon belly is one of those positions. The reason we don't show it to you when we show mountain side control is because it's so powerful, right? And if I had a student putting all their pressure on another student and they were just starting martial arts, the other student might go, ugh, right? <laughs> Which has happened before. This is a position. It's not just a fast position. It's also a very heavy position because all my weight's focused on that one knee. So if I grab their collar and I grab their knee, yes, I can pull their gi and like this, because change change that hand angle for me. I could push and pull, like I'm pulling my pad, boom, and really push in all that pressure. And sometimes I've seen students tap just from the pressure. That's not even a submission move. That's just a position. And they tap because the pressure is so crazy. Okay. Great question. Great question. All right. Any other questions? Any other questions here? All right. So that was level one. That was pretty nice and light. That was 30 seconds. Now we're going to go for one minute. Okay, and I'm maybe gonna do it this minute because I saw you guys doing a great job. I'm just looking right here into the camera. I'm watching everybody. I'm looking to see who is doing the best because don't forget, if you were here on Monday, you know, we're back on doing uh, student of the day. We haven't done student of the day in a long time. And I emailed out the student of the day uh, certificates earlier. So Zylon, ask your mom to check her email. She should have gotten your certificate. I uh, emailed it around midday today. Otherwise, everyone get ready. We're going for one minute. One minute, neon belly, neon belly, our skier drill. Everyone get ready. Good knee on bellies. Get there now. Go ahead and get there now. All right. On your mark. Get set. Go, 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 go. Who's pushing? Who's pushing? I see Boris and Mia going. I see Boris and Mia. Awesome, awesome. All right. I got Sebastian moving pretty fast. Remember, your pad shouldn't move that much. Nice, Jasmine. I like how you're picking up your hands after each one. That's awesome. Hands down in the middle, hands up at the end. Jacelyn, I don't think I've ever seen that one, someone do that drill that well on a trampoline. You're doing an awesome job out there. Awesome job doing jiu-jitsu out in the sun rays. I wish I was there. All right, Ja'Cory also, man, Ja'Cory, that movement is so fluid, man. You have your hands down, you're staying nice and low. Don't forget to breathe. If we don't breathe, we're gonna get tired fast. Keep going for the full minute. Mason, keep going, man. I see you over there too. I see everyone putting in seconds. hard sweat. 20 seconds, we're halfway there, we're over halfway there. Finish strong. This is the end of the match now. Who's going to go to finish the end of the match? Who's going? Who's watching right now is going to finish the match strong? Let's go. Let's go. Push it. Push it. Push it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Arabella, I see you there. We're connecting. That's okay. Technical issues. Five, four, three, two, one. Explosions. All right. Everybody take a break. Everybody relax real quick. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Okay. All righty. As we calm down we're going to get ready for our next drill and our next drill is a little bit different this isn't something we normally do this next drill requires a little bit of thinking power a little bit of brain juice okay um normally when we're using martial arts we're either in the gym we're in the academy and we're protecting ourselves doing self-defense training or maybe we're in a real situation where we're dealing with a bully okay and when we deal with a bully we always want to be very safe and we have a battle plan. I right? normally have a four step battle plan. We've talked about this a long time ago. Does anyone remember the four step battle plan? Because I think if somebody remembers the four step battle plan, they definitely would be my student of the day. Does anyone remember the four steps to the four step battle plan? Oh, I got a hand from CB. Let's see if he knows my four step battle plan. What do we do when we have to face off against the bully? Uh. You know. Get in a good grappling stance. Move your hand. Your grappling stance? That is close. That's close. That's that's very close to step one, okay? You're not far off. You're not far off. Any other, anybody else want to take a guess? I see uh, uh, I see a couple ups and downs. We're, all right, we're over. We got, who's it, Ja'Cory? All right, I'm going to go to Ja'Cory next, and then Ja'Cory doesn't get it, I'll head over to you. Well, the back. So let's go over to Ja'Cory first. Where is he out on here? Ja'Cory, Ja'Cory, what is the four-step battle plan, sir? Clinch, take, take down, control, submission. Submission, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give him two. Give him two more. That is the four-step battle plan. That is how we handle any of our one-on-one -on -one situations. We wanna get close to the bully, we wanna clinch them, we wanna take them down, we wanna control them, and then we wanna negotiate with them. 
We want to talk it out. We, we throw on a submission. We throw on Americana. We throw on a choke. And we tell them, hey, if you don't stop messing with us, we're going to choke you, have to bend your arm, going to have to do whatever to keep ourselves safe. But we never want to do more than we have to. We never really want to hurt the bully unless they're really trying to hurt us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, one thing we really don't want to do unless it's really, really bad is something called ground and pound. If I say ground and pound. Ground and pound. Ground and pound is different from our four-step battle plan. So think about it. I have the bully here. Step one, I got my clinch. Step two, I did the takedown. Step three, I'm on top. I have the control. Now I have the control. The last step would be what, Coach Dom? No, not ground and pound. Wrong. What was that, Coach Tyler? Submission. Submission. Now I'm on top of the bully. I'm in full mount. I'm looking to do some kind of choke. I'm going to do some kind of arm lock so I can talk to him. I can control the situation and not hurt him and not hurt myself. But if he's being a crazy guy, he's really being mean, I'm going to have to do ground and pound. Ground and pound is when we use our strikes while we're on the ground. Okay? So when we use our strikes, when we're on the ground, they're going to be protecting themselves. They're going to have their arms up trying to protect from our punches. So we're going to use a technique today to get past their guard. And this works great when we're on the ground. But for you guys who like to spar with our punches standing up, this is also a great technique to get past their hands standing up. It's called body, body, head. I would say body, body, head. Body, body, head. So here's the idea. If I only punch their heads, they're going to be protecting their head. But if I punch their body first, so I go for the body, they're going to drop their hands down to protect their body. And that's when I go back up and go for their head. So I'm kind of faking them out. It's kind of like, a Jedi mind trick. Isn't that watch this with Star Wars? Any Star Wars fans out there? Okay, it's like I'm using my brain to mess with them. I say, hey, I'm gonna go for the body. So when they move to the body, oh, just kidding. I go up to the head, okay? This is a black belt level technique. Here's how we're gonna work it with our pillow today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our pillow in front of us, just like this, lengthways, okay? I'm gonna have my chest down on our pillow like we're on top of the bad guy, okay? And we're gonna pick an arm. You can use your strongest arm, or if you wanna be crazy, you can use your weaker arm. We're gonna keep one arm on the bad guy. We're gonna keep our body pressure on the bad guy. And we're gonna do two punches to their body. So you have to use your imagination. Body is down here, head up here. So I go body, boom, body, boom. And I'm gonna go up to the head, boom, head, okay? What strikes can you do from here? You can do your jabs and crosses. You can do your hooks. You can do your elbow strikes. You can do your hammer fists. So we can go boom, boom, jab or cross, straight punch. We could go boom, boom, elbow. Or we could go boom, boom. What was the last one? Hammer fist. Hammer fist. So come down from the top with a nice, strong hammer fist. All right? So this is something we – don't do normally. Normally, we don't do our punches when we're on the ground. So before I get started with this, it's a very simple drill. Does anyone have any questions about using our punches on the ground? Anybody have any questions? Anybody going once, going twice? Sold. Okay, no questions. Here's how the drill works. We're going to stay on our pad, and we're going to be punching constantly without any stops for one minute. You can change size. When I say go, I'm going to say something like this. Ready, set, go. Boom, 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 boom. Switching between the body and the head back and forth, using all your strikes, your jabs, your crosses, your hooks, your hammer fists, your elbows for one minute. Remember, when we strike, I want you guys to breathe out or say kia or say ish to make our punches even stronger. So breathe out. Ish. Ish. Every time you hit, I want you to let that out. All right. So everybody get ready. Set yourself in front of your pad. All righty. Set yourself in front of your pad just like me. Okay. What's up, Christian? How are you doing today, sir? Good to see you. All right, on your mark. Get set. Go, go, go. Body, body, head, body, body, head, body, head. Switch back and forth, switch back and forth. Keep going, keep going. Nice job, Sebastian. Good work. We don't have to punch super strong. I don't have gloves on. If you're punching a hard pillow, be careful. If you're punching a hard bat like Sebastian, keep going, Jasmine. Keep going, stay low, pressure, pressure, pressure. Body, body, head, keep going, Jason. Nice, stay low, stay low, chest pressure, down on the pad. As we hit, don't come up, up here to hit, because then they're gonna escape, they're gonna get out, so stay low, stay low. Hitting, 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 
Boom. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Let's go. Nice work, Boris and Mia. Keep it going. You should be sweating. Your sweat should be dripping off your nose and getting your pad all sweaty. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Keep pushing this island. Keep pushing this island. All right. Three, two, one, and time, time. Awesome, time. Take a break real quick. Hands on your head. Stay there. Hands on your head. Take breath, take breath. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Everybody go for another minute. Short break, go for another minute. Everybody get ready, get ready, get ready. Short break. All right, we're going again. Ready? Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. That's right. I said short break, short break. Hope you guys are ready. Let's go. Let's go right back to it. One minute. One minute. Elbow strikes. Hammer fist. Hooks. Straight punches. Back to it. Low, low, low. Stay low. Keep your pressure down. Keep your pressure on top. We're punching. We're punching. We're punching. Keep going. Who's out there is doing the strongest punches? Man, I got Christian over there laying out those hooks. Silence. good. Make sure we have our knees in. Good pressure. Like we're doing a real body. Body, head. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Nice, William. Push. Keep it going. Change hands back and forth. We can't strong hand. I see you there, Jasmine. Keep working, keep working. Don't get distracted. You got it, you got it. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, nice, Jason. Good hey, work. Nice, CB. Oh, I see Caden doing a slam. That wasn't part of the drill, but that was pretty crazy. You keep bending, Ten keep seconds. bending. 10 seconds. Stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low. Five, four, three, two. One, and time. All right, great work, great work, great work. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a really quick water break. We're gonna come back 20 seconds. I saw some of you guys reaching for the water and then get caught when I said short break and then have to go back. So really quick water break, 20 seconds. We're back to the action. Water break, one, two, three, 20 seconds, 20, 19, 18, 17, six, just kidding. Take your time, don't run the house. <laughs> don't run the house when you come back, so like a black belt. If you don't need water, just chill out, have a seat, Christmas apple sauce, and we'll be good to go. Uh, I saw a couple of slams, <laughs> couple of slams in there as well. Yep. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Jasmine moving quick. Delilah moving quick. Katori, we saw you, buddy. Good job out there. Who? Oh, Jason's doing very well. I have never seen someone do things on trampoline like that before. I imagine the trampoline's going crazy, maybe. <laughs> you know, so exactly. shout out to Jason. Good job. All right, good job, Arabella, good job. Christian, good job, everybody. Everybody's back? Okay, all right, awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready for our stripe test today. Our stripe test today is all about speed. A lot of our speed stripe tests, you have to hit the bag with a punch or a kick, you have to do a certain amount, but obviously we don't have bags. So we're gonna use our pillows today, our pads. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take what we learned earlier, our neon belly, and combine it with our speed test today. So everyone can watch me really quick. I'm gonna tell you what you have to do to get your stripe today. Yes, we are doing stripe tests. These weren't here on Monday. We already have you guys' attendance logged. When you guys checked into class, you know who's here for class for your belt. And then also we are keeping track of who passed what stripe test for the stripes on your belt. So when classes start back, you're gonna get all those stripes that we earn in these classes as well. I'm on my pad, neon belly. Okay, you guys, not yet, just watching, just watching. From my neon belly, we're gonna have three rounds how many rounds three three rounds round one is going to be jabs and crosses so straight punch so in my neon belly i'm gonna go jab cross jab cross like a machine gun keep going for uh 20 seconds and in 20 seconds you've got to do 40 punches so 40 punches 20 seconds now what happens sometimes everybody is when i walk by and i see you do this test in the bag Instead of doing good jabs and crosses, you get it really close to the bag and you start doing these little teeny tiny punches. I see you doing that on the camera today. It's not just me watching, right? I got Coach Todd and Coach Dom over there watching you guys. I see anyone doing these little teeny tiny punches. That's not a pass. So once you're up tall for this, super straight punches. Back and forth. 40 seconds. Sorry, 40 punches, 20 seconds. That's round one. After we do that, we're going to go round two. It's going to be hook punches. Okay, so same thing, both hooks. Boom, 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 boom. 40 hooks, 20 seconds. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do hammer fists, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. For this one, you can put your um, other knee close in. We're gonna hold the pad with one hand, 
We're gonna do our hammer fists with our other hand. 40 punches, 20 seconds. So that's three rounds. Each round, you have to do 40 punches in 20 seconds. And don't worry about forgetting, because before each round, I'll tell you what punch you have to do for that round. Before we start, does anyone have any questions about our stripe test today? Yes. Oh. oh, okay. If you already have your speed stripe, that's okay. I still want you to participate, all right? So everyone, go ahead, get to your knee on belly position. Knee on belly position, just like me. All right, so remember round one is going to be jab, cross, punches. You need 40 punches in 20 seconds. All right, everyone get settled, ready. Job. Delilah's ready. William's ready. Horace Mia ready. Everybody's ready. Ready, 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 ready. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Go. Fast, 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 fast. We're counting. We're counting. We're counting. I'm watching. I'm watching. Some of you guys are moving so fast. It's almost a blur. Good job. Good job. Good job. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Not little teeny tiny big punches. Let's go, Amelia. Let's go, Amelia. Don't stop on me. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Very good. Coach Tyler, how'd they do? Really good. Coach Dom, how'd they do? Okay, anyone doing small punches out there? Okay, round one. Okay, round one, pass. Round one, everybody's still in it. Remember, next round, same position, knee on belly, but now we're doing our hook punches, hook punches. So we're gonna, if you hit the side of your pillow, that's okay, all right? Just don't hit the floor, all right? <laughs> Hooks, 40 hooks, 20 seconds. Everybody get ready? Set. Go, 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 go. All right, go, go, go. Hooks, hooks, hooks. Remember, they're not straight hooks. These aren't hooks. These aren't hooks. Around town, around town. Big, big hooks, big hooks. There you go, Jasmine. There you go, man. We're still hitting with our big knuckles. Good job, Delilah. Nice, Aiden. Keep going, Aiden. Don't stop, don't stop. Just because you hit 40, I want you to stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Three, two, one. Time. Yeah, Good job. Time. Yeah, I know some of you are so fast, you might finish ahead of time. Don't stop because you hit 40. I want you to, you know, push it to the black belt level. I want you to go up 50, 60. I want a high score, okay? I know some of you guys know what I'm talking about, playing video games. You get a high score. I want to see your high score, okay? Hooks are done. As far as I saw, everyone made it. Everyone made it. So we're going to go thumbs for up, up. hammer fist. Remember, hammer fist is the only one that's different. We're not going to hit with our knuckles right here for our hammer fist. We're going to hit with the ridge of our hand, like a karate chop, okay? But our hand's going to be closed. So we're coming at. I'll show it really quick one more time. Don't so do this one as much. I'm going to be in my neon belly. I have one hand on the pad. My other hand, hammer fist. Hammer fist coming down, Okay. Ready. Gonna have to be fast. Gonna have to be fast on this one. Because this one you only have one hand. You only have one hand on this one. So you better be on your mark. Get set. Go. Hammer fist. Hammer fist. Nice, Sebastian. Good, Arabella. Make sure you hit your pad. Don't hit the floor. Keep going. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Halfway done. You should be at twenty. And now you should be at thirty. Five. Four. Three, keep going, keep going, two, you can do it, you can do it. One time. Time, time. all right, all right. Coach Tom, Coach Ty, taking notes? Okay, very good, very good. Everyone's like a black belt, relax really quick. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of notes really quick. Just a couple of announcements and things before we go and wind down the class. So firstly, a big shout out to our parents again. Thank you guys so much for helping out. I know you've been helping your student log on into these classes. Your help is always appreciated. Also, I saw some of you uh, taking pictures of them training at home. We'd love you guys to post those to Facebook and tag us uh, and Facebook on them. Uh, to see your little training setups. And if some of you guys have bags and things at home, we love trampoline. seeing a trampoline. <laughs> uh, we have so many uh, students that are training at home, and we love to see that dedication and hard work going through. So if you have an awesome picture, post it, tag us. We'd love to see it and comment on that. Friday, we were doing that drawing for the home training kit. So as your student comes into class, We'll draw that name for the home training kit. If you win the, pa the pair of gloves and the pair of pads, you can just come by and pick that up. That'll be awesome possum. Next week, the Zoom classes are gonna work a little bit differently. Um, there is, so far this week, there's been one code for all the classes. Some students were a little confused about when their class is and they've been coming at the wrong time. So what we're gonna do to kind of trim down on some confusion is each class is gonna have its own code. 
and we're going to be emailing and texting that out next week or sorry later this week for next week so this class will have a specific code and not be different from example the being four-year-old class and that kind of stuff so you'll have a specific code for your class but other than that everything's going to be working exactly the same um other than that we have those going out we sent out the student of the day uh, form earlier. I mean, my student of the day in just a second, student of the day is something we haven't done in a while. Student of the day is very, very important. That's for my student that did the best today. The student who showed me the most work, the most dedication, they showed up to class on time. They were really doing great. I'm gonna give my student of the day today to Sebastian. Everybody clap it up for Sebastian. Good job, Sebastian. <laughs> All right, so Sebastian, I'm gonna be sending you over a little special thing from the coaches to your family's email, uh, probably later tonight. So have them check that for you. Otherwise, everyone did awesome. Um, keep up the hard work. We're gonna be sending out an email parents with some extra lessons. So if you're having fun at home training with your students, we're gonna send over some even more content. So other than just these live classes, we'll give them a little bit more to do as well. Other than that, I want all my students to stand up. Yes, Everybody gonna stand up for me, please. All righty, stand like a black belt. You can let go of your pillows, or your pillow cast it away. And attention. Yes, sir. Bout. Oh. I hope you guys had an awesome day in class. I'd love to see you guys. Tune in next week, same time, same place, different code. <laughs> and we're going to have another awesome class. You guys have an awesome day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.